No, as a matter of fact, <laughs> as a matter of fact, we went up there for about two days, two or three days. But it was around December, Christmas. So he was like, man, what, uh, how y'all feeling about it? Do y'all need to get back home for Christmas? And Sir said, uh, I ain't tripping on Christmas. Christmas been missed us. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. We all knew each other. That's but, crazy. But when um we went up there, we only went up there for a week. And that week turned into a year. Wow. And you just, y'all basically just, y'all, y'all didn't know where y'all was going to stay. Y'all just kind of went to a, a hotel and just stayed there. And then he... Winging what, it. Winging it. Yeah, we, young, we, they young. No, we, we only went up there for a week to work on some music that he was putting his compilation out on. Okay, which, that, that, which, which was Downside that? Downside Hustler. Okay, that same one, mm-hmm. yeah. So we went up. So there. that's what, and that's why Court come because he's right, trying to. He was on that project. He was on that project. He had a son, R.I.P. or something. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you know, with what then that you know, um, Mia, you know, we all flew up there, and just for a week, just to work on that record. Mm-hmm. And I guess when he heard what was coming out. He's like, I gotta keep them up here. No, as a matter of fact, (laughs) as a matter of fact, we went up there for about two days, two or three days. But it was around December, Christmas. So he was like, man, uh, how y'all feeling about, do y'all need to get back home for Christmas? And Sir said, "Uh, shit, I ain't tripping on Christmas. Christmas been missed us. (laughs) (laughs) So we was up there for about a week. And I had to come back because I had to go to court. So when he found out about, you know, man, I may have something here. Mm-hmm. That's when I think he started looking and found an apartment, apartment. for mm-hmm. us to stay up there. Wow. that was. A, did you ever get homesick? No. Nah. You never did? No. Nah. But the thing about it, what, 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 what it was, was um, if I was being young, you know, I was just enjoying the moment. Mm-hmm. of Just um, being in California. And P introduced me to, like I said, like... Um, DJ Darrell, K. Lou, and mainly E.A. Ski because E.A. Ski was... Who was doing his work? Yeah, E.A. Ski was big. You got Like I said, he did All Spice One stuff. He was working with Q. Q, short. He did all of this work with these Bay Area, you know, Ice you know, um, Ice Cube and MC Ren, Ice T. He worked with all of them, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So, and the thing about it was, when I was DJing in the club, you know, bounce music is huge. And Spice One was the only record that wasn't locally that I was playing in that club mm. with bounce music that, you know, if I changed the pace of it, it wasn't going to affect nothing. Mm. Wow. Even though it was a different sound. So um, when we got up there for them two days that turned into a week, that turned into a year, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, things just started... He was like, he just wanted to come back home. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.